Oh, a little windy, a little foggy, and a little bit of drizzle. We have it all today. I think we need to go up the trail. I'm still a little burned out from the heat wave and all the uh, stuff going on. But shall we continue on? All right, so I wanted to uh, thank everybody for their comments on the last videos. They've been really good comments. Lots of discussion going on. Remember, the people who comment are part of the video. They, they put their part into it and people read the comments just as much as they watch the video. So it's, it's a really good platform to say what you need to say. So here in the U.S., the orange man wants to tote ethanol as being an alternative uh, fuel. Well, ethanol really isn't an alternative fuel. Ethanol really isn't any better than fossil fuel. You know why? Because ethanol comes from either soybeans or corn or other crops that are grown using fossil fuels for both the seeds, the transport, and, and the whole thing is all done with fossil fuel. So by the time you get it to ethanol, the difference between the fossil fuel that you made the ethanol out of is probably so you end up making more air pollution than just using fossil fuel instead of fossil fuel and then ethanol. That doesn't make any sense, right? But neither does the orange man. So of course he'd be, he would fall for something like for something like ethanol. So why is the orange man have one thing on his mind and that's to deceive the public? Everything he does is 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 deceiving is just the opposite of what he says it is, such as ethanol. Ethanol is not an option. It's just such a plain Jane do nothing, plus the land that you're using to grow the ethanol crops could be used to grow human food or even return back to nature. We, this, is, this is again a problem that doesn't need to be there. Ethanol is basically a zero-sum game. But let's look at this chart and see uh, what's been happening with ethanol. And as you can see, of course, the production is going up to try and uh, fool the sheep as into thinking that this is some kind of alternative to fossil fuel. So the reason we must curb these fossil fuels so badly and not use stupid things like ethanol, which is a, uh, a blinders on approach, The sea ice extent for the northern pole area on planet Earth, well, well, let's just look at the chart. How depressing, huh? Anything need to be said about that? But there is another chart that we have to look at. Over half of the surface of Greenland is now melting. This is now the second time this has happened. This is a disaster waiting to happen, people. So the melting of Greenland started a month early, 6-11-2019. Too early for Greenland to start melting. So the more BS we get out of our environmental ministers or department, the faster the Arctic will melt. As the Arctic continues to melt faster and faster, it sort of shows what BS people are trying to put over on other people, thinking that they're actually fixing something when they're not. They're just making a money stream that goes into their pocket. We mustn't fall for this, fall for this, fall for this. You know, if someone's going to fix a, a car tire flat, let's say the tire goes flat, and they jack up the car, and they flip the tire over and they put the jack down. Does that really fix the flat? I bet most of the sheeple would say yes. That's what we have in the White House right now. But it's, it's, it's getting worse. It looks like Boris Johnson is going to win in the UK. You know, all I can say is that you're putting in a duplicate of what we have here in the US. Plus, we have the right-wing Argentine president. So the uh, axis of evil is growing day by day, and the sheeple are too busy doing something else. 
and not paying attention to who they're voting for and how important that is. But I have a feeling, I just have a feeling, people just don't care. And what happens, happens. And the faster it happens, the happier they are. That's the unfortunate thing, isn't it? That when the end comes, it'll be pretty slow and miserable. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, false flag being perpetrated on Iran. The uh, tankers that were hit by missiles were uh, very interesting because the news coming out that the tanker owner himself was on the tanker and he saw missiles, two missiles, coming from the direction of Saudi Arabia, of course. Our little puppet. When you need something taken care of, that's a little out of legality. Who do you call the Saudi government? When you need to bring down a building or two, who do you call the Saudi government? The orange man, Mr. Sword, orange man himself, who did the sword dance with the Saudis, knows all about the Saudi connection and how that whole thing works to get rid of your enemies permanent, permanently. But unfortunately, several of the news outlets, the corporate ones, are spewing lies. They're saying that it was a mine, a magnetic mine, and they're showing propaganda that the U.S. put out about some little boat putting this mine or taking a mine off. <sighs> Boy, their skills are getting old and rusty, but it's all they need. The mainstream will believe it. And when we go and attack Iran to take their oil and precious minerals, minerals, it'll be just like a rock. People will just yawn and go about their phone business but like I said before I definitely appreciate all of the lovely comments the ups and the downs and the new subscribers and until next time